How's it going, everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the default Drop Bear SSH client that's built into the new iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak. So this will help you with boot loops, respring loops, any sort of issue that you have, as long as you can get into a jailbroken state and you can SSH into the device and you know what you're doing. So first off, you're going to want to enable the jailbreak. So you're going to want to run the jailbreak app. Now this is all being recorded from an iPhone 5S, so sorry for the bad quality. So once you're jailbroken, you're going to want to go to Cydia. You're going to want to click Done if anything pops up. You're going to go to Search. And you're going to type in M Terminal, and you're going to install that. Now, after you've installed that, let Cydia do its reloading. You're going to go to the Cydia tab at the left bottom. And then you're going to click on Root Password How To. And you're going to change your root password. Don't forget it after you change it. Now, you can go back to the home screen if you want. Now, from your Mac, you're going to want to open up a terminal. And then in the top right, you're going to want to click Shell. And then scroll down to New Remote Connection. Now, from here, you're going to see two tabs. You're going to see Service and Server. On the right-hand side, you'll see Server. And at the bottom, you'll see a plus and minus sign. You're going to click the plus sign. And then you're going to go to your phone. And you're going to go to Settings. You're going to click on Wi-Fi, and then you're going to click on the little eye icon. Perfect. Now from here, you're going to enter your IP address into your Mac. And then you're going to click Enter. Now you can leave your device. Alright, so now that you have the IP address entered, and it's on the right-hand side, you're going to click it, and then you'll see right down here at the bottom it says SSH Automatic. You're going to leave that. And then down here, you're going to see it says SSH space and then your IP address. You're going to want to put the cursor right in front of the IP address and then type in root and then the at sign and then hit enter. Now it's going to open up another shell. At this point, it's going to be prompting you for the root password of your device. You're going to want to go ahead and enter it and hit enter. Now you have SSH access. So to show you that I do, I'm going to enable substrate. Now, if you know what you're doing, you can use Substrate. If you don't, highly recommend you don't use it because you can screw up your device. Okay, and now I'm going to respring to enable it. And then there you go. Device is respringing. All right, and you can see that my passcode is scrambled. It means I am in a jailbroken state and have Substrate working. just entered my password and then there you go I just show you go to settings scroll down I've have dim activator so I am jailbroken there you go guys that's how you use the new drop air SSH client on the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak I hope this helps you guys out and have a good day